ever just feel like you're guessing when it comes to tracking in your nutrition? Because if so, you're not alone. With so many different apps and different options to choose from today, it can be sort of overwhelming to find the right app to track your nutrition. But that's where Chronometer comes in. So whether you're just getting started on your fitness journey, or you've been at this for a while, and you wanna take your nutrition a bit more seriously, then Chronometer is the perfect app to do so. It's what I've been using for myself, as well as my online coaching clients for the last six years. So in this video series, we're gonna be covering everything that chronometer has to offer from a to z so that you can go ahead and nail your nutrition without further ado let's go ahead and get started so chronometer has three different plans to choose from they have the free plan the gold plan and then the pro plan so taking a look at the differences between the free account as well as the gold account so with the basic free account you're going to get nutrition data from lab analyzed sources access to chronometer community database you have the ability to create custom foods and recipes, which we'll go over how to do that in future videos. You can sync selected activity trackers and apps to import data into your diary. You can create diary groups. You get limited data analysis tools, the ability to export all raw data, and you get access to the apps. Now, when you upgrade to the gold account, the first thing that they do is they take away the advertisements, which is great. You get access to the Oracle food suggestions. So basically what that is, is if you're short in protein and magnesium that day or whatever, it will give you food suggestions to hit your specific targets that you're lacking that day. You also get access to the nutrient Oracle, which you can go and find different foods that are high in specific nutrients like potassium or, or whatever the case may be. You get long-term data charts and reports, extended library charts, you can create custom charts. There's the fasting feature within the app. There's the nutrient intake graph, time stamped data. You can create custom biometrics. You can do recipe sharing nutrient balance charts and nutrition scores. So if you want to get started with chronometer, you might as well just try out the free version and see how you like it. You can get a lot of the main features just on the free account, which is great because you don't have to spend money up front to get started. But if you decide you like it and you want to take it to the next level, the gold account is great. And if you want to get 10% off, I do have a link down in the description, which gets you 10% off of your gold subscription. So check that out if you're thinking about upgrading to gold. Okay, the next thing that I want to do in this video is just kind of walk you through the app so you can get familiar with it. So we'll go ahead and take a look at the mobile app and then we'll go ahead and take a look at the desktop app. Now, you're probably going to be using chronometer most on your phone, which is why we're going to start with that. But there are some times where it really comes in handy to just look at everything on a bigger screen on your desktop, specifically when doing things like meal planning or just plugging in your food for the day ahead for the week ahead, however you want to do it. And so we'll go ahead and walk through both starting with the mobile app. Okay, so taking a look at the mobile app. So I have an iPhone, so I'm on the iOS app. And again, I have a professional account, but I'm here on my gold account. So if you're on a free account, that's why it might look a little bit different. But essentially, you know, taking a look at the app here, you know, at the bottom, we have these four different tabs. There's a discover tab, the diary tab, which is where you're going to be spending most of your time, the foods tab, and then the more tab. So we're going to go ahead and just run through each of these different tabs. So starting with the discover tab. So we come here and then at the top, we can go ahead and see that there's kind of some sub tabs there to look into. So we have the dashboard and this is just what it sounds like a dashboard. So here you can go ahead and share your love for chronometer, give five bucks, get five bucks, killer deal. Um, and then here we can see again, this is my personal gold account that I have as like a client under my professional account, which is why it says here that I'm a client of Eric Hunsker fitness. Um, and then it shows your streaks. And again, I believe you can customize this dashboard to kind of look however you'd like. Uh, I currently have a zero day streak because I have not been tracking my macronutrients, which is just fine. <laughs> but uh, but anyway, that's where your streaks will be. Um, and then again, yeah, if we come up here and we click that little gear icon in the top right, we can go ahead and, uh, you know, customize the dashboard settings here so we can show news, show fasting, show energy history, show weight change, show sleep data, streak settings if we click on that. Um, you know, you can either turn the show streak on or off or reset the streak to uh, whatever days we want, which I don't know why you'd want to do that, but yeah. Um, and then again, we can see kind of energy history, 
weight changes and then with all these things you can go in here and like change the date range for example this weight change you know right now it's just showing the last seven days you can go in there uh, they have some kind of custom time frames as well as so you can just go ahead and uh, select all time or, or what have you um, and then again this is where the fasting is again this is a gold feature the fasting yeah and then if you have sleep data it'll show up here so if you're using something like an aura ring Garmin watch, Apple watch, and you have it set up to where your device is connected to chronometer that will show up here. And here we can go ahead and see the weight chart here. And again, you can go ahead and change the date range for that as well. This is showing a section of 2023 there. Um, and yeah, so that is the dashboard under the discovery tab. Taking a look over here at the charts. So again, here, I believe this is a gold feature, you know, having the custom charts, um, but you can go ahead and add a chart here. So, you know, this is what's, what's great about chronometer is it's not only good for like tracking your food and stuff. That's obviously it's sort of main use, but it's also really good at tracking your weight, any other biometrics like circumference measurements, whether you want to do like your chest, your waist, your legs, your right bicep, your left bicep, heart rate, heart rate variability, blood pressure. You can go ahead and just put everything in there. And that's what I do with my clients. So just everything is all in one place. Everything that they're tracking goes in chronometer, um, except workouts I have I use other software for that uh, because it's just better at doing that but as far as like tracking things again whether that's food whether that's uh, biometrics chronometer is really good at that and again because you can have these sort of custom charts here uh, so for example you could come in here change the date range for the calories consumed um, and yeah that's just about all we'll go over there under report so this is what chronometer calls at least on the professional side of things they call it uh, like a nutrition report and what's great about this is it's just sort of like a little summary a little average of where your calories and macros and everything has been over a specific time period so for example here we're looking at october 1st through the 7th and again i haven't been tracking so this probably isn't the greatest uh you know example here but if we go ahead and click um on this uh, where it says daily average for October 1 through 7th, 2024, we can go ahead and change the date range. So if we wanted to look at the last two weeks, three weeks, you know, custom range or whatever, we can do that. But then here's what's really important is the days displayed. So you can go ahead and select all days or you can select non-empty days. So that'll put in anything. The non-empty days will include any day where there's something in there. That could be one meal. That could be one ingredient of food that could probably even be a weigh in like if you just put your weight in one day it would include that as well or you can select completed days so chronometer has the ability to when you finish entering for a day you can complete it and then it sort of locks that day and i like to do that whenever possible whenever i like fully track a day like as best as i can um and include every single thing in there i check completed and then you can kind of filter by like what those days look like and that's a good idea of like you know, the day that you ate and you did that was like a really good example of how you typically eat um, and you just like have a good representation of that. But yeah, so that's kind of cool. You can go ahead and look in and kind of see how you've been doing. Um, it also has, you know, calories burned, energy budget, as well as the macronutrient target, highlighted targets, uh, all that stuff. And then over here under snapshots. Um, so again, I believe this is a, it's either a gold feature or a professional feature where you can add snapshots and notes. So again, this is also what I, where I have my clients um, upload their progress pictures. And what's really cool about this is when you, um, if you're tracking your weight in there as well, let's say you wake up, you take a progress picture, you enter your weight, it's gonna go ahead and just add the weight for that day right under that picture, which is just a little, another little handy feature. Uh, and again, I just like having everything all in one place. So that is the discover tab. Now moving over here to the diary tab. So again, this is where you're going to be spending most of your time and wh where you add food. I mean, there's a couple different ways to add food, but this is sort of the primary area that you'll be hanging out. And um, so kind of up here at the top, you know, we have these different sort of summary views. So here we can see how much we've consumed, how much we've burned, um, which is that's just like sort of like a guesstimate and then the the remaining calories if we scroll over we can see our calories protein carbs and fats and as you track throughout the day for example let's go ahead and just add in some protein powder um you can see that now the calories went up protein went up a little bit of carb a little bit of fat but as you start to enter things throughout the day um those bars will get filled out now scrolling over we kind of have a highlighted nutrient score thing that we want to look at and you can go ahead and customize what you want to see here as well and then over to the right uh it's 
you know, if we scroll over to the final page there, we can see, um, again, these scores here as well. Now, a couple other things here. So in the top left there, that little check mark, if we click that, that goes ahead and marks the day complete. And then again, I, if I go to try to log something, it's going to, again, sort of lock it um, and ask if I want to cancel or revert. Um, and so that's, that's again, kind of a handy feature. I'll go ahead and turn that off for now. Um, and then if we click on today, we get a calendar here. We can go ahead and scroll to a specific day. Uh, if we want to go look at that or go add something, um, that can be super handy. And then next to that, there's a little plus sign. So if we go ahead and click on that, this is one of a few different ways that you can go ahead and add food, add exercise, add biometric or add a note. But you can also do the same thing if you click the plus sign down below. You can either click on the suggested food. That's sort of the, uh, the ask of the Oracle nutrient thing we were talking about earlier you can add food there scan a barcode do a new fast add a note add biometric add exercise um, all from right there and then up at the top right we have the three dots so again you can either complete your day there um sh share diary widgets sort all entries by time that comes in handy with the gold feature having the ability to timestamp things you can view your daily report from here you can multi-select so when we click on that then it adds this little uh check box next to all the items that are in your diary which is handy if you need to like delete a lot of things or you want to create a recipe from something um that can be handy you can copy the current day or copy the previous day and then paste that forwards backwards or however you want to do and then clear all serving sizes and delete all entries so yeah that is pretty much the diary section and again what's kind of cool again about having the groups uh is you can get a summary so if we scroll back to that top section where we have the calories protein carbs and fats we can see everything for our entire day but maybe we just wanted to know kind of where we were at for a specific meal or kind of the calories and macros for a specific meal you can see that there under like the meal name which is handy so again if i was to add something here let's add you know just grab something from here a red bell pepper you know we could see uh the difference between meal one and two but at the top we have the total so uh that can be pretty handy and then another thing you can do you can swipe left or right on a um something in your diary so if we swipe right we're gonna get this little selection here and we have some different options so we could set this food to repeat we could edit a copy of this food we could copy that show nutrition summary and delete uh so we'll go ahead and delete these since didn't actually eat this stuff today and yeah that is the diary section so moving right along to the food section so here is where we can create custom meals we can create custom recipes this is also where you can import uh recipes as well you can create custom foods uh and then you can create repeat items so repeat items are really cool as it says right here it's kind of like logging on autopilot so if you have the same breakfast every day or you plan to for a while uh, you can go ahead and set something on repeat. Something that else is great for this is like vitamins and supplements, something that you just take daily. That's kind of a pain in the ass to just add every single time. You can just set it as a repeat item and you never have to worry about forgetting to log it again. And then down below, we have the Oracle nutrient search. Again, this is where you can search for foods high in specific nutrients to meet your needs. Let's say you're not really sure what foods are high in protein. You can go ahead and come in here. Um, we'll select protein and then you can have it ranked by either the oracle which is just like what they call it or you can do it by highest per calorie or highest per gram i like to do it highest uh, per gram and then we'll go ahead and hit search and then we can go ahead and get this list here as well again this th this type of stuff i think is better done on the desktop which we'll get to here in just a minute but the final tab here uh we have the more sections so this is where you have you know your account your profile um targets which we'll get to in the next video actually we'll show you how to set targets calories macros and all that sort of stuff um you can this is where you can change your fasting settings if you have a gold account you can connect your different apps and devices uh and stuff like that so that is a brief tour of the mobile app now let's go ahead and jump into the desktop and we'll go ahead and just kind of show you where those same things are on the desktop app okay so taking a look here uh it looks relatively similar uh to the mobile app as it should uh but instead of kind of being at the bottom now everything's sort of on the left hand side here so right now we are currently in the dashboard and we have this same dashboard view here where we have some different charts. We can see the fasting, our streaks, and we also have uh, that quick add to diary. So we can go ahead and add 
food, exercise, biometrics, or notes uh, up from the top there. Come on down here to the diary. Now we can see the diary in a just bigger view here, as well as the like full report, the full vitamins and minerals of everything. And that's another area really where chronometer shines is not just the calories and macros, which are important, uh, but also the vitamins and the minerals. They do a really good job at that. Um, as you can see, they have an entire panel here, as well as some other sort of scorecards down here. So again, at the top here, we have this different area where we can add food, exercise, biometric, notes, fast. We have the calendar over here. This is that check mark to go ahead and complete a day. Uh, what I didn't mention in the app was this other uh, water section here. This is relatively new to chronometer. So you can come in here and change your water settings. I went ahead and changed mine to 40 ounces is a glass of water because I drink out of my hydro flask all the time. So my goal is to drink three of those a day. So yeah, that's how you go ahead and change those settings. But that's a helpful new little feature there as well. Now, if we come down here to the trends tab, so this is a tab that wasn't uh, in the in the mobile app, but here we can go ahead and come look at charts. So they just kind of move things around like charts with a subsection under the dashboard. So everything is like kind of the same, like you can do almost all the same things on not only the app, but on the desktop, they're just in a little different areas. So these are where we can go ahead and look at the different charts that we have, uh, as well as add or manage, you know, other charts over here as well. Now here's that nutrition report. So again, we went over this in the mobile app where you can go ahead and change it. The time frame. you can go ahead and select whether you want, uh, you know, all days, non empty days, completed days. Again, I recommend non empty days. Um, it's just going to help out just like average out uh, your numbers a little bit better. You can come in here and print that report if you would like. So you can go ahead and change the date range. Um, you can go ahead and again, select all days on empty days, completed days. Um, and just sort of choose what you want to get exported there as well. You could just save that as a PDF if you didn't actually want to print it. And then here we have the snapshots. Again, this is, I believe, a gold or a professional feature, but um, this is where you can go ahead and add those snapshots, progress pictures, that type of stuff. So moving on to the foods tab here, we'll go ahead and close that trends tab. So again, this is where you can come in and create custom meals, create custom recipes create custom foods, those repeat foods, you can ask the Oracle or search for a food. Um, and again, there'll be more videos to come where we'll go in depth on how to do all those things. Um, here we have the more tab. So this is where we have the account profiles and targets. So this is where we come in and we can go ahead and add our calorie and macro targets, all that sort of thing. We have a macro scheduler. So again, you can do this in the mobile app. This is I think just a little easier to find here on the desktop. But if you wanted to like carb cycle, for example, or maybe you want higher calories on training days, lower calories on rest days, you can go ahead and set up different macronutrient and calorie targets for specific days. So this is where you go ahead and do that in the macro scheduler. Uh, here we have fasting. Um, so you can go ahead and like just set a timer, which is, you know, not the most revolutionary thing ever, but it's kind of cool because it like tracks things here and you can go ahead and set up like a schedule. Uh, so that's that's kind of neat. The display. So this is again, this is where those water settings were as well as other settings. So you can kind of just change how and what you want to see. Uh, for example, like this is where you come in and can change the names of your diary groups. Instead of like breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack, I just like meal one, two, three, four, five. It just makes more sense to me. Um, and yeah, and then we come down here, we have the different devices. So this is where you can go ahead and hook up different devices. Again, we got Fitbit, Garmin, there's tons in here and, and they just add more and more to this uh, as time goes on. And again, that can be really handy, uh, you know, specifically like the sleep stuff uh, just migrates right over, which is really handy dandy. And yeah, that is pretty much a good look at the not only the uh, app for iOS, which is going to look very similar for Android, as well as the desktop app. Again, if you do want to get started with the gold subscription to Chronometer, there will be a link down in the description to get started with 10% off your order. So now you should have a very solid foundation on navigating the Chronometer app, as well as Chronometer on the desktop. Now, hopefully it wasn't too overwhelming, but you should have a good understanding of where to find what. And if you need to, you can always come back 
and refer to this video. Now, in the next video, I'm gonna be going over how to set your calories as well as your macronutrient targets. And in that video, we'll not only be showing you just how to plug those numbers into chronometer, but also how to calculate them for you, your goals, and all that sort of stuff. So be sure to stay tuned for that. It will be linked somewhere up here down below as well. Um, so if you want, just go ahead and watch that right now. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe for more videos just like this. It really helps out the channel. And other than that, we will see you here in the next video.